Today we're going to read Pigs on a Blanket. And while we read, we're going to try to keep up with the time in the story. So if you have a clock at home that you made with paper or you have a play clock, I want you to get that right now, pause the video, get your clock, and try to set the time with me. If you don't have a clock, you can write down the times as we come across them in the book, or you can listen carefully and learn as we go. So Pigs on a Blanket, the story is by Amy Axelrod, and the pictures are by Sharon McGinley Nally. The pigs were in a rut. We need a change of pace, said Mrs. Pig. We've been glued to this couch for hours. Let's spend the day at the beach, suggested Mr. Pig. Great idea, said Mrs. Pig, except for one thing. What's that? asked Mr. Pig. The beach is an hour's drive from here, she said. Don't you think we'd be getting a late start? Mr. Pig looked at his watch. It was 11.30. Okay, 11.30. Let's set our clocks. I'm going to put my hour hand on the 11 and my minute hand on the 6 for 30 minutes. 11.30. No problem, he said. We can be on the road in no time. Well then, family, said Mrs. Pig. Ready, set, go! In just 10 minutes, the piglets changed into swimsuits, packed beach toys, and blew up their floats. Okay, let's put 10 more minutes on our clock. So we're at 11.30. 5, 10. Now we're at 1140. Five minutes later, Mrs. Pig came downstairs wearing a new swimsuit and toting a bag filled with towels, hats, a blanket, sun lotion, and her favorite book. They waited and waited and waited for Mr. Pig. Okay, so let's go back in our story. Five minutes later, got to put five more minutes on our clock. So now we're at 11.45. Let's turn the page. It's about time, scolded Mrs. Pig. We've been sitting here for a good 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes. We've got to go 45 minutes. So let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so now we're at 12.25. At this rate, we'll never ride the waves. Sorry, dear, said Mr. Pig. I had a tough time finding a swimsuit that fit. I guess I've put on a few pounds since last year. Never mind, said Mrs. Pig. Let's hurry now. At 12.45, the pigs were in the car and all set to leave for the beach when Mr. Pig discovered that he didn't have the car keys. Okay, so it took them another 20 minutes to get in the car. 12.45. They must be here somewhere, said Mrs. Pig. What do you know, said Mr. Pig. One hour later, okay, so let's go a whole hour from 12.45 to 1.45. A whole hour later, 12.45 to 1.45. As he bent over to look under the car, the keys were in my pocket all along. Oh boy, what do you think Mrs. Pig's going to think about that? Finally, the pigs were on the road. Mr. Pig made good time for three quarters of an hour. Three quarters of an hour. Okay, so remember when we divide our clock into fourths, we have one quarter, two quarters, 
three quarters. So we went three quarters of the way around the clock, three quarters of an hour. But then he reached a railroad crossing. 25 minutes later, the caboose passed and the pigs were once again on their way. So we gotta go 25 minutes. So let's see, hold the clock here. Let's count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so now it's 2.55. It looks like it's almost to three, but not quite. Five more minutes and we'll be at three o'clock. Almost at the beach, said Mrs. Pig. I can smell it in the air. You see it says beach this way. Uh-oh, beach that way. Here they come. We need a bathroom, said the piglets. It's an emergency. But we just passed a rest area right before the train crossing, said Mr. Pig. Can't you wait? We'll be at the beach in just 10 minutes. There's a bathroom there. The piglets shook their heads no. Hurry, they said. Mr. Pig beat the clock. He made a U-turn and reached the rest area in only two minutes. Okay, gotta go two minutes. While the piglets visited the bathrooms, Mr. Pig visited with a police officer who wrote him a speeding ticket. 13 minutes later, the police officer sent the pigs on their way. Okay, so we're at 2.57 and now we have to go 13 minutes. So let's go three, one, two, three. That makes us to three o'clock. And now we have to go 10 more minutes because three plus 10 is 13, five, 10. Okay, so now it's three, 10. At 3.30, the pigs arrived at the beach. Okay, so it took them 20 more minutes, five, 10, 15, 20 to get to the beach. So now it's 3.30 at the beach. We're hungry, said the piglets. And look, beach closes 5.30 p.m. So how long do they have that they can spend at the beach? 3.30 to 5.30 is two hours. So let's turn the page. Mrs. Pig and the piglets made themselves comfortable on the blanket while Mr. Pig went to the snack bar. I wonder what is keeping your father, said Mrs. Pig to the piglets. He's been gone a long time. Whoa. All the animals went to the snack bar and look, here's Mr. Pig. A total of 60 minutes passed before Mr. Pig returned. So remember, 60 minutes is the same as one hour. So we have to put another hour on our clock. So we're at 3.30 and we're gonna go all the way around now till 4.30, 60 minutes later. The line was very long, he explained, but it was worth the wait. Look what I brought for us to eat. Triple Decker cheese sandwiches, chips, lemonade, and brownies. Mmm, that looks pretty tasty to me. The pigs ate their food in 10 minutes. So we have to go 10 more minutes. We're at 4.30. We're going to go 5.10 to 4.40. We're roasting, said the piglets. Can we go swimming now? In due time, said Mrs. Pig. Let's see, we each had a triple decker cheese sandwich. That alone is a 20 minute wait. Let's do 20, five, 10, 15, 20. Now we're at five o'clock. Then figure 10 more minutes for the chips. Five, 10, now we're at five, 10. Dear, don't forget the lemonade and those delicious brownies, 
said Mr. Pig. Mrs. Pig thought for a second. Hmm, you're right. I'm adding on an extra 20 minutes, she said, just to be on the safe side. Five, 10, 15, 20. Uh oh, that's 5.30. It's just past the five and the minute hands on the six, that's 30. So let's see what happens. She wants them to wait that long. When their stomach settled, Mrs. Pig said, okay, family, it's time to ride the waves. Mr. Pig led the charge to the water. Your mother's right, kids, he said. It's time to ride the... Uh-oh. He's blowing the whistle. So, in the end, they didn't even get to get in the water because they used up so much time before they could get in the water at the beach. I think next time they'll plan to leave sooner to have more fun at the beach.